UK Healthcare Community Connection is sponsored by UK Healthcare. We are joined by Dr. Jessica Lee from UK Healthcare Comprehensive Stroke Center to talk about all the great things they are mm -hmm. doing for communities across the Bluegrass. Thank you so much for being here with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, Dr. Lee, we know that um, when it comes to stroke patients and treatments, being immediate is of the utmost um, importance in seeking treatment. So can you tell us a little bit about how UK Healthcare is working to improve access to that treatment across Kentucky? Absolutely. So you are absolutely correct that um, you know time is brain. We say that all the time, and that's because for every minute we delay restoring blood flow to the brain, we're talking about you know two million brain cells lost, 14 billion connections potentially. So throughout Kentucky, um, we've established a network, if you will, of hospitals uh, in various communities. Some of these are very small critical access hospitals, as small as 18 to 25 beds. Um, but we have a variety of communication tools, whether that's calling in through our uh, transfer center or utilizing a specific application that we have on our mobile devices for us to be able to see images in a almost real-time fashion and communicate quickly um, so that we can provide advice and hopefully definitive treatment at that person's local community facility. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that network, the Stroke Care Network. What role does it play in caring for patients across the state? So the Stroke Care Network has been built over the last really decade or more. Um, and what we do is we provide a variety of educational tools, not only to hospitals themselves, but also throughout the community. Um, there's a project called the SCOPE program that's actually um, run by nurses and goes out specifically into community events to provide that education on cardiovascular and stroke risk and uh, recognition of warning signs. Mm -hmm. And they also established this um, project called the Brain Protector Program. And there they actually go into uh, elementary schools and they educate very young children, like first, second graders, how to be a brain protector by recognizing the signs and symptoms of stroke and when to call 911. Mm -hmm. And it's been very effective. Wow. Um, we've fascinating. actually had children who have called for their grandparent or parent. Oh, that's that amazing. Awesome. Good for them. And you know, uh, moving along, artificial intelligence is a big topic of conversation nowadays. Can you tell us about Viz AI and how that's also improving care? Yes. So, Viz is that application that we have on our mobile devices. Mm -hmm. And what it allows us to do is when a patient presents to one of these community network hospitals um, that's part of this network, their CAT scan or CAT scan or their blood vessels is immediately uploaded into the cloud, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's pushed to our mobile devices. We see it within a minute. Um, so we, if we're out on our phone, um, iPad, computer, whatever, we can look at that scan very, very quickly and make determinations about, you know, is there bleeding in the brain? Is there a blockage of a blood vessel in the brain? What kind of care do they need? Are they safe to stay within their community or do they need transfer to that higher level of care? Very fascinating mm -hmm. stuff indeed. Dr. Lee, thank you so much for being with us thank this you. morning. We'll have more news and weather after the break.